Hey guys, welcome to your love reading for Aquarius. Uh, this is going to be for your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for November 2022. What are they hiding from you? What are they not telling you? Uh, so uh, Aquarius, uh, this is someone that you're um, maybe you're dealing with right now or someone that's on your mind. We're going to take a look and see what this person's hiding from you, what they're not telling you, and then we'll finish off the read to see if this person will come clean towards you. Even though this is love focused, okay, uh, this could be with anybody. So apply this to your own unique situation, okay? You can switch the roles if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. If you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on one my new videos post give this video a thumbs up like this video share this video leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective um Aquarius people not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. So if you're looking for a reading tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies, uh, I suggest you uh, book a private personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Okay, so Aquarius, tell me about Aquarius here. The person that Aquarius is dealing with or the person that Aquarius has on their mind. What is this person hiding from Aquarius? What is this person hiding from Aquarius? What is this person hiding from Aquarius from November 2022? Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs for Aquarius. What is this person hiding from Aquarius? What is this person hiding from Aquarius? Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs for November 2022. We have the devil here and the knight of wands. Okay. Um, I feel like this person's like, like completely, completely, completely obsessed with you okay um but one of the things i'm getting here is that this person is doing it in a very subtle way okay so i feel like this person's trying not to be too overt about it but i feel like this person's obsessed with you this person's like really sexually aroused by you too aquarius okay um you know i do feel like this person might have like se like a sexual addiction or something like that but like i said if they're trying to be subtle about it this person might also touch you inappropriately too Okay, um, so we have the Devil Capricorn energy, the Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. Here the Page of Swords here and the Page of Cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. You could be dealing with another Aquarius. Any of the energies that are read out, you might be dealing with any of those energies. You might have any of those energies in your chart. Okay, we have the Ace of Wands here and the Nine of Wands. Oh my. This person is really, 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 really sexual towards you. You know, I feel like this person also talks a lot. Okay, but in terms of, you know, if you're wanting something more, this person doesn't really have a lot to offer. With the Nine of Wands here, I feel like the reason why that this person's like this is because I feel like this person might have been sexually abused as a kid or something like that. Okay, um, let's see, tell me about the devil. Because um, I'm feeling like this person has like, like sexual fetishes or like sexual fantasies or urges or something like that tell me about the devil why is the devil here the justice sleep for energy the knight of wands and the nine of cups this is a karmic you might not know this but this is a karmic yeah this is a karmic i would be careful also because like you know this person might have little friends down there if you know what i mean okay so i would really be careful and i feel like also this person drinks a lot too uh the page of swords you have the Four of Swords, the Page of Cups, and the Emperor here, Aries Energy. This person wears many, 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 many different masks. One moment, this person could be serious. This person's like a business person. You know, this person gets things done. The next moment, they could be, you know, running around like a frat boy or, or a sorority girl or something like that. Okay, just acting all crazy or being all crazy. The Emperor, Aries Energy. The uh, Ace of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune, the Nine of Wands and the Six of Pentacles here. I do feel like what I, I feel like you're dealing with a karmic here. You could be stepping into a karmic situation here too. This could be a new person that you're dealing with here, Aquarius, because we do have the pages which represent new people in your life or a new person in your life. Okay, so the Wheel of Fortune and the Six of Pentacles. You know, I feel like you have a history of attracting people that are only looking for sex and you're looking for more. 
And I feel like, you know, you have a history of attracting people that uh, breadcrumb you or that there's a lack of equal give and take in this connection here. Okay, so I feel like, you know, when it comes to this, you know, you have to figure out what you need to do, what you need to work on so that you stop attracting these individuals. Uh, because there is a part of you that you're reflecting this right back at you. You know what I mean? So uh, let's see what else we have. Will this person come clean towards Aquarius? Will this person come clean towards Aquarius for November 2022? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Aquarius. All right, Five of Pentacles and a Death card, Scorpio Energy. We have the Ten of Wands and the Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. And then we have the Eight of Cups here and the Seven of Pentacles, okay? So the Five of Pentacles and the Death card. This person has a lot of insecurities, by the way. You know, what I'm also getting is that this person, a, a part of themselves, a part of them sort of died not, you know, figuratively, not literally, when they went through this trauma, okay? This person's still holding on to it. This person is still sort of like, you know, avoiding it, you know? So, um, yeah, I, I just feel like this person's avoiding the work that they have to do in order for them to, for the, in order for themselves to get better here, okay? So, um, yeah, I don't feel like this person will tell you, okay? Uh, I, I feel like this person's ashamed and embarrassed by this. The Five of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords. We have the Death card and the Three of Swords. This person still holds on to a lot of pain, a lot of fear. This is this is one of the interesting thing, uh, thing about this person. This person is very, very, very sex positive. You know, like I said, everything that I said about this person, but also... This person's also very, um, very um, uncomfortable when they're having sex, okay? So uh, we have the Three of Swords here. The Ten of Wands, the Tower, Aries, Scorpio, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Nine of Swords. Yeah, I feel like this person's definitely going through a major change in their life. Yeah. Because I feel like meeting you sort of like gave them maybe perspective that things can get better. Maybe you are inspiring this person to do better here. The Eight of Cups, the Three of Pentacles, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Eventually, they do want to sort of like come together and work things out here with you. Oh, yeah, this person's, you know, eventually I feel like this person will fall in love with you too. But yeah, it seems like this person, it, it, you know, I feel like this is a karmic that you're stepping into. And I feel like there could be a lesson that you have to learn from this or and this person has to learn from this. Okay, so Aquarius, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. All right, thanks guys. Bye.